वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स 120 डेज ऑप्टिमा प्लान फॉर प्रीलिम्स 2023 टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कांसेप्ट फ्रॉम क्लॉक्स एंड कैलेंडर डे 7 लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ जस्ट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विद इन 1 मिनट योर टाइम स्टार्ट्स नाउ Yes. So uh, today the questions are taken from uh, clocks and calendars. So first question is based on clock. So we had some formulas for finding answers, uh, clock as well as calendar. So if this question is based on clock, they are given that 180 degree angle makes which one is correct. Okay. So 7 o'clock, 7 hours, 7 hours and between 7, 5 hours, 7, 5 hours, 7, 5 to 7, 10. So where it lies 180 degree, okay. This concept we need to know angle is equal to 30 into hours difference 11 over 2 into minutes. So we had a formula for finding angle in clocks. So from this formula, I'm going to get the answer easily because look at the first part. From the hours, I can get the angle and this is for minutes. Okay, see, they are, the options are given, all the options are talking about 7 hours. Minutes is different, 5 minutes, 10 minutes or 0 minutes ok but hours is 7 so from this uh, number 30 into 7 so 30 into 7 is what 210 so 210 degree when it was 7 o'clock so this is 7 o'clock right so this this angle is 7 it was 12 so angle is what 210 degree but I need 180 degree so for 180 degree, you need to subtract minutes from this. So definitely 7 hours is not the right answer, correct? 7 hours is 210. 7 hours is not right. So next one is I need to find either 7 to 7, 5. It is possible. So I need to check for 7, 5. 7, I know that it was 210. So remaining is 5. So just take this 11 divided by 2 into 5. Is it right? Okay, so uh, for this 11 by 2 into 5, I will get uh, 55 by 2, right, 55 divided by 2, so 27.5, I will get 27.5, I need to subtract 27.5 from 210, okay. 210 degree minus 27.5. So what I will get is 182. No, it is not 182. Uh, for this number, 210 minus this number. Yes, so I got 182.5. 182 182.5. Listen carefully guys, 7 o'clock it was 210, this is for 7 o'clock, okay, for 7, 5 it is 282, so 210 to 282, but I need, sorry 182, but I need 180, so 
so in between this my answer will not lies right so my answer will be less than 180 182 right but this is from 182 to 210 this is what the number 7 o'clock to 75 so that is not right answer so let take uh, so 75 is also not right answer this is also not right answer so go for option d okay option d for 7 o'clock it is 210 correct so let i will take for 7 o'clock it is 210 degree okay here 11 over 2 into 10 so if i cancel this it will getting 5 so 55 now 210 minus 55 i'll get 155 now look at this 7 o'clock it was 210 uh, then 7 5 it was 182.5 then 7 10 it was 155 so from 7 5 to 7 10 i will get my answer because that is from 152 to 182 i want 180 degree correct so our answer will be option d is it clear so the formula is angle theta is equal to 13 into half difference 11 by 2 into minutes try this question sir okay so this is a calendar question they will give a date and we need to find uh, the day so exactly what happens in calendar that is a big theory i will take those things in class but here i try to explain some things what we need for this question okay so i need to find 10 10 2027 is what day okay that's what so we need to find odd days for odd days odd days for day month and year so everything i need to find odd days that's what the concept okay right so first if you are new to this calendar it is little bit difficult to understand but anyway in the class i had explained everything clearly so if already you know that how to find the day this question will be easy okay right so first i am going to take this year okay 20 27 split this into two part step 1 and step 2 in two step i will find odd days for this 27 okay so step 1 is find the leap years how many leap years in 27 so how many fours in 27 how many fours so 24 6 fours are 24 so 6 leap year so first i need to find leap year okay so i find 6 leap year next that add this number if you add this you will get odd days so i i got the odd day odd day is 33 okay this is odd day this is leap year this is leap year and this is odd day so i got odd day 33 but my odd day should be from 0 to 7 0 to 6 okay this is sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday so odd odd day should be always from 0 to 6 if it is more than 6 i need to divide it by 7 and take the remainder that is the odd day okay i need to find only the remainder so 33 by 7 7 fours are 28 so remainder is 5 okay so the odd day for this 27 is 5 okay now 20 20 is nothing but 20th century each century we had a specific number for 20th century okay so 20th century our number is 6 okay if it is 19th century 
a number is zero okay mostly they will ask questions from this two centuries and i had some shortcuts for finding all centuries okay so now this is not right time to explain those things so just take uh, 2000 means i need to take six uh, 90 kids 19 kids okay so they can take uh, zero so here it was six okay so what is 6 plus 5 is 11 so for year my odd days is 11 next go for month month we had a separate code for 12 months okay so that is very very easy so let i will write uh, that here 0 okay so i will explain all these concepts in uh, classroom so now for 10th month the code is 0 this is 10th month the first month second month third month fourth month fifth sixth seventh okay so likewise for 10th month i need to take this is october 0 so write 0 here take 10 but my odd days should be from 0 to 6 if it is more than 6 i will divide it by 7 and take the remainder so remainder is 3 11 plus 0 plus 3 what is that 14 So 14 divided by 7. Again, what is the remainder? Remainder will be zero, right? Zero means what day? Sunday. Sunday is the right answer. Okay, very simple, guys. Only two steps. You will get odd days for year. Okay, if you already know this, you can get this century code also. If you know this, you will write the month code also. Right? Day just divided by 7. You will get it. Add the number. You will get the answer. Clear? One more question is like this. At that time. we will get the answer within a few seconds right next question start doing this fast okay this question i need to explain little bit clearly because already this question was asked in uh, our exam i think 2021 okay look at this question from january 1 2021 the price of petrol in rupees on mth day of the year is 80 plus 0.1 into m where m is equal to from 1 to 100 and thereafter remains constant that means after 100 it remains constant on the other hand the price of diesel in rupees on nth day is of 2021 in 69 plus 0.15 n and for any n on which date in the year 2021 or the price of these two fuels equal <coughs> let i will take one side it was petrol and other side it was diesel right Okay, let's take petrol rate is they gave an equation that is 80 plus 0.1 into m. M is nothing but the days from 1 to 100. Let's take first day. Okay, day one. Day one. What will happen? Uh, it becomes uh, this is m and here it was 69 plus 0.15 n. This is equation. So let's take day one. day 1 i will write 80 plus 0.1 into first day okay right what is that it is 80 in other hand 69 plus 0.15 into 1 so first day petrol rate is 80 diesel rate is 69.15 so 80 is greater than 69.15 but i need equal two fuel should be equal let go for the day 2 okay so day 2 okay uh, don't go day 2 let go for 100th day 
so they told that m should be up to 100 after 100 it was constant so let i take 80 plus 0 1.1 into 100 okay i'll get 90 right 80 plus 10 is 90 and here 69 plus 0 0.15 times 100 100th day the rate of diesel is 84 look at this here it was 90 this is 84 still petrol rate is higher than diesel so still it is not equal okay so up to 100th day it is petrol rate is more than diesel rate so let's take 101st day in 101st day what will happen listen 101st day this will never change 90 so they clearly says that after 100 remains constant so i need to check only diesel right correct okay uh, so this will be 90 so diesel rate only changes correct so we can take one equation here and find out the answer that equation is diesel rate is 69 plus 0 0.15 correct into n i don't know which day it will be equal but i need this rate this price is also should be 90 so i form an equation like this now i easily find what is n 0 0.15 n is equal to 21 that is 90 minus 69 then n is equal to 21 by 0 0.15 that is nothing but 140 so at 140th day it will comes 90 so both will getting equal so from this day that means january 1 you need to check 140th day is it clear so very simple in this calendar take the calendar again uh, so january we had 31 days february we had 28 days that is 2021 not a leap year march is 31 days april is 30 days so up to this i got 120 days but 140th day right so plus 20 20 days from may so may 20th both will equal is it clear i hope you guys understand this if any doubts you can uh, give it in the comment box right next question start doing this all are challenging problems previously asked questions try this question first good so how many of you got answer if you got answer within the time please try to give it in uh, options right so a man started from home that is uh, 14 30 a man started from home at 14 30 hours and drove at village arriving there when the village clock indicates 15 15 hours after say staying for 25 minutes he drove back by the different route for length 1.25 times the first route at the rate twice as fast reaching home in 16 hours good okay so we need to find the answer let i will explain this one by one step please listen now i am going to take speed of the man is x kilometer okay so speed 
of man man speed a person speed is x kilometer per hour per hour okay and the distance distance from home to village okay so the distance from home to village i will take y kilometers be clear in this first okay and one more data is given that is total time total time is from 1430 to 1515 uh, for no no 16 hours reach home is uh, come back at this time so i will write uh, 16 pm to 1430 pm so we can calculate this and get 3 by 2 hours one and a half hours exactly right so this is one more thing added in this question okay right so i need to find that how much time exactly he was traveled from a to b to b to a exactly he was traveled because after staying for 25 minutes that means that 25 minutes also added here right so i need to subtract that 25 minutes so 3 by 2 one and a half hours minus uh, 25 minutes or else you can write like this so 3 by 2 hours minus 25 minutes so i need to convert this into hours okay so that is nothing but 13 by 12 hours this is the exact traveling time okay right so now we know the formula speed is equal to distance by time okay now look at this clearly this is what the question he drove back at a different route ah, right look at this he drove back by a different route exactly from a to b at 1.2 a to b he travels with uh distance time equal to what is the formula time is equal to distance by speed right so this is the formula because i got one time traveling time we got it so from this formula i am going to write the equation time is equal to let like like this time is equal to what is time 13 by 12 so we can exactly write 13 by 12 13 by 12 is equal to okay first uh, uh, what is the distance y y distance and speed is what x that's what we had taken earlier this is from a to b a to b is x kilometer per hour and y kilometers speed and distance is given in return journey he do something extra that is in diff by a different route he come back with the different route of uh, length 1.2 times the first route so uh, the different that is 1.25 times the first one y correct divided by and speed is twice so i can write 2x so the whole journey from a to b to b to a it takes this time 13 by 12 hours is it clear this time look at this this time exactly what happened this time is nothing but from first time from a to b and second time b to a all over it takes the total time total time is 13 by 12 okay so the first one is a to b and the second one is b to a okay so now can we solve this right so if i solve this i will get x y by x is equal to 2 by 3 hours 2 by 3 means what see if you double this 6 60 minutes if you double this 40 minutes so it was 40 minutes out of 60 it was 40 minutes so 40 minutes is the time he taken okay so exactly time on clock when man reached villages 14:30 14:30 plus this is given 14:30 plus 40 minutes okay so plus 40 minutes is equal to 15 10 pm okay but what it shows it shows village clock shows 15 15 pm 15 15 pm so how much it was fast 5 minutes faster okay 5 minutes faster option d is the right answer is it clear 
it takes a little bit time but we you need to know which is speed which is distance which is time according to that we can get the answer clear right next question start doing this Okay, so final question. The date is June. That means sixth month, 2099. I need to find which date it was. It gives Sunday. That's what the question. This question also asked last time in civil service exam, CSAT paper. Okay, guys, let's select any one number and just find it. You will get the answer. I will select four. Let put four here. Find out the day. You will get the answer. Correct? Right. So already I told you that. Now let me do this first. If it is four, odd day is four. More than four, I will divide it by seven. For six, I I told you that zero double three six one four six two five zero three five. Correct? What is the sixth month? Sixth month is four. This is for June. So sixth month is four. This is also over. Twentieth century. What I said, it was six. I need to find only for ninety nine. What is the odd number? What is step one and step two? Step one, I need to find leap year. Correct. For step one, I need to find the leap year. Step two, I need to find the odd days. So leap year, how many fours are there in ninety nine? Okay, 99 divided by 4. Every 4 years we will get one leap year, right? So I will do one thing: 99 split into two parts, 80 and 19. 18 years plus 19 years, that is 99. 80 years I had 24, 19 I had 4 4. If I add it, I will get 24 fours, right? So 24 leap years are there. Add these numbers: 99 plus 24, 123. This is odd days. So now divide it by 7, get the remainder, you will get the answer. So what is the remainder? Uh, 12, I had 1, 7, remainder is 5, 53, 7, 7 are 49. So 4, remainder is 4, 123 divided by 7. So here it will be 4. That's it. Just add this, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 plus 4 is 18. I got 18 odd days. Again I want to divide it by 7. 7 twos are 14, remainder is 4. Again and again I need to take the remainder. So 4 means what day? 0 means zero means Sunday. 1 means Monday. 2 means Tuesday. 3 means Wednesday. 4 means Thursday. So I got 4. That means Thursday. So 4 is Thursday. Na. Look at this. 4 is Thursday. right? 5 will be Friday. 6 is Saturday. 7 is Sunday. So Sunday is nothing but 7. Find it for any one day and from that we can get the answer. Is it clear? So that's all. We completed the 5 questions here. Prelims Optima 2023. 120 days study plan. 1.5 years Optima current affairs notes. 12 months prelims, power play, compilations, monthly current affairs test and so on are waiting for you. Uh, you can contact through this telegram number. All the very best guys. Meet you in the next session with a different topic. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.